welcome to the electric mist challenge. Oh, right. no. <laughs> what is the electric mist? This is an electric mist. So we have three electric mists all together. Team number one, where are you team number one? <laughs> team number one, your mat is over there. Team number two, your mat is over here. And team number three, your mat is over there. Okay? Now, listen to this carefully because it is going to be very, very important. Objective of the game, objective for my company adalah untuk anda membawa kesemua ahli kumpulan anda menyeberangi kapet uh, electric case ni daripada sebelah sini ke sebelah sana. You have to bring your team member from this side of the maze to that side of the maze. The maze has been divided into all of these boxes. Macam main tenteng pula, eh? Okay. Now, all of these boxes, uh, how many boxes all together? 9 kali 6 ada 54 kotak semua sekali. So, there are 54 boxes. So, you can only start the maze from this side of the maze. You cannot start from here. You cannot start from here. You cannot start from there. Because that's the objective, that's where you need to go. Okay? So there's only one direction for you to come in, which is over here. The boxes, the grid, has been divided into valid square and invalid square. The position of the valid square and invalid square will never move. And we'll repeat that again. The position of the valid square and the invalid square will never move. It will remain where it is. Now, the valid square has no bombs. The invalid square got bombs. And the bombs, the moment you step on it, will reactivate again. <laughs> and it will explode again and again and again if you step on it. Right? So, how do you start this game? You are to start this game one person at a time to enter the maze. Okay? The maze can only be entered one person at a time. You cannot come in together, eh? Right? <laughs> one at a time. So the moment you want to start, the first thing you need to do and discuss is to form a sequence of who start first, second, third, fourth, and so on. Right? Kalau terlupa the sequence, there will be a penalty. Okay? So you need to remember, eh? You need to really remember the sequence. Who's first, second, third, fourth, and so on and so on. How do you want to do that? That is a strategy question. It's really entirely up to you. So, once you have formed the sequence, and the first person wants to enter the maze, the moment he is here, what he or she would need to do is to announce his name or her name first. If you forgot to announce, there will be another penalty. Banyak peraturan, macam finance, so betul. Dia perlu ambil, dia perlu banyak. Dia perlu tanya. Kena C form ini dulu ke, ini dulu lah, apa boleh. So, the moment you come in, announce your name first. Okay, sorry, saya kena cut. So, example. Amin. Okay. Let me introduce to you the, a very, very important character in this game. We call them the Maze Master. So there are three Maze Master all together. The Maze Master is the judge and executioner of the game. And when they are the judge and executioner of the game, whatever they say, go. Okay. There's no point arguing with them because they are running to a new one. Right? So the moment you come in, first thing you need to do is, we'll do what? Number dulu. Example. Amin. You may enter. Okay, they are to check out. So after that, it's really a tiny after that. So the way you move in this case, so the moment you come in, the moment they give the signal to enter, then they begin the game. How many choices of boxes do you have now? Six boxes. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Except if you choose to enter this box, you step in. And how do you know if it's a valid square or invalid square? How do you know that? If it's a valid square, it's okay. It's like that. So if it's a valid square, it means you can move to the kotak that is next to the other. Kotak that is next to the other. You cannot take two steps to the front. Eh? The moment you take two steps to the front, there will be a penalty. So how many choices do you have now? One, two, three, four, five. Six. You can step back as well. But the moment you step back, your turn is over. Okay? So the, you come in. There is no sound. What do you do? Go forward lah. Right? Many choices here. You want to go there also can, here also can. Let's just say if you go here. And if you still don't hear anything, what does that mean? Go forward. 
go over it. So how many choices do you have now? Wait, how you define it separately? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now let's just say if you move forward again and you hear a bang. Ah, you hear that, huh? Bang. Jadi bom mungkin bunyi ni lain lain, lah. Pasal mungkin kat sini pakai C4 ke, sini pakai tak jemak ke, ni tak tahu dah. Okay, bunyi ni pet ke sini, tak tahu. So kita tanya kita apa dia bincang sini. So if you listen, if you hear a sound, that means it's an invalid square. If you hear the sound, that means you need to retrace back the way you came in. Okay? So, if you terkejut, katakanlah kalau anda terkejut, eh? Alamak, terkejut. Itu sudah dua penalty. Okay? Because you step on the invalid square and you terkejut. So, if you uh, if you do not retrace your step back, you go somewhere else. Or you go here, you forgot the way you came in. Then it's another penalty. When it's another penalty, you will need to leave the maze immediately. Yeah? When it's another penalty, leave the maze immediately. Clear? Alright.